I'm Roger Ford, production designer of The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. No matter how big the project, or how difficult it seems, or how impossible it may seem when you first read the script, there's always a way through. The solutions are there, you just have to find them. So embarking on this project was intimidating. It's a hugely loved set of stories. <clears throat> but could you enhance the colour of it? We have to do an amazingly good job, I think. It's the imagery that is created in, in the imagination that makes the book so special. And that's why you're given the task of designing the movie, which is a formidable task. Because if you can't produce an image that is b almost better than the one they imagined, then you're gonna disappoint the viewer. So you, you know, you're faced with this huge challenge to actually delight the viewer. Well, that's, that's my job, basically. In the process of developing the film, you're constantly faced with choices. And your job is to know that this is gonna look better than that. Or this works, this'll work that in some way won't. So you've got to be a bit of a sociologist in the way that you enjoy working out how people live their lives, what they surround themselves with. That's part of the business of production design. You've got to enjoy working in a team of people. Even looking back up this way towards the wardrobe, you would need trees back head. here. Yeah. Very good for running horses. Yeah. Directors vary enormously. And to every one of them, you've got to be able to give totally to their film. Once you've accepted how big it is and how difficult some aspects of it are going to be, you gather the very, very best people you can around you. Because none of it is an individual effort in the art department. It's a, it's a huge team of people you, you pull together. And you're very dependent on, on their talents and their abilities. Is there any reason that we wouldn't carry the trees what further back? Uh, that, that ugly word again? And the budget has to be agreed to before you start spending it. And especially at the beginning of the film, there are times when producers are nervous. Hi, this is Mark Johnson. I'm the producer. It's my first day in the production office, and Roger is showing me around the art department. Just a little guided tour. There's quite a bit to see here. This is the first time they've worked with you. You, you appear to be wanting to spend an awful lot of money on, for instance, dressing the professor's house. His house is furnished with furniture going back to 1600. Full of, you know, interesting stuff from around the world. All expensive stuff to, to acquire and to hire. So we put in our estimates and it was like, what? From the producers. It's just a house. How could it cost this much money? It was in our budget, but they just thought, this is too much. I have to say, when it comes to the crunch, I like to get what I want. So they sort of said, basically said, come back to a meeting and tell us, give us some good news on this. So we went back to the meeting and I sat down and I said, I know you're looking for good news, but what I'm saying to you is that I want to spend the money. And they, <laughs> they that was it. <laughs> they was like, oh, okay. Isn't that anything we can do to help turn this? No, we've taken them to the witch's house. The beavers in Narnia, in their house, they have tables and chairs and cups of tea and plates of food. So what we decided to do, which is really nice in the movie, was to obviously make everything in the house, every prop, every piece of furniture, including the house itself, was made to the scale of the beavers, which was a lot of fun. But of course, it, pr it produces huge problems for the film crew. Film crew of 30 people try <laughs> trying to look inside a beaver's house. But Andrew went with it. I mean, he was really good about it. 
<laughs> I'm not an on-set kind of person. I'm hopeless on set, actually. I crack jokes at the wrong time, and I, I, if I'm not careful, I get in the shot. And so I'm a best. I'm best out of it, and um, and only too glad to be out of it. I'm not an on-set kind of person, actually. So the best moment of the day for me is when I can walk out of the studio. Everything's fine. The director's happy. The first shots in the can and I can get in my car and drive away. Hey, the rest of them are going to be stuck in that studio for the next 12 hours. This situation where you have minimal scenery and a lot of green screen, which you're going to replace with something that will eventually be created in a computer. In some instances, this is exciting and it helps to, to, to sell the set because in the film in Paddington Station, suddenly we cut to a wide shot over the top of the carriage and now you see other trains, more people, the extent of the station. So it helps me. For me, one of the most moving moments in the film is this moment when Lucy goes into this room and the wardrobe is there covered with the cloth. In the book, it suggests that the it's just a wardrobe in an empty room somewhere in the house. We decided that the professor knows that it's in some way has magic qualities. And what he's done, he's put it into an empty attic room and he's covered it with a dust cloth. So when Lucy opens the door and goes into the attic and at the end of the room, all the woodwork and everything directs your eye to this thing at the end of the room, which has a cloth over it. And this little girl, she makes her way to the wardrobe. She pulls, she pulls the cloth and it falls, you know, almost in slow motion and the dust rises from it. It's the most fantastic shot in the film. I don't make close friendships usually on, on films. I make close working relationships. But I do get very sad often when the film has finished. For me, it was a year of my life and you get close to the film and the idea of the film. And when it's finished and it's taken away, it's you, there's an emptiness, but it's just part of the game. It's what you do, and you look, look around for the next script.